on the right hand side, obviously you've torn the calcaneal fibular ligament, the anterior patellar fibular ligament, and there's also a little bit of bony bruising here, but it's in inconsequential. There's also a reduction in the range of motion. We know about ankle sprains and, and ligaments instability here is that in 80% of cases, after about six, four to six weeks, balance, strength, increase the range of motion combined with calf and glute strengthening will make this functional without too much pain. In 15% of cases, you get con continue to get chronicity with instability and also discomfort. And so in this sort of situation, we've had the MRI, which is important. It tells us exactly what we thought. Pretty much we were exactly right looking at your past notes from three years ago. We go back onto a strengthening program. If the pain continues, and you also tend to get any other incidents, episodes of instability, how useful is a stabilization operation? I'm not saying you need to have it, how useful? It's useful. And in fact, the patient before you, he went through the same thing probably six or seven years before I saw him, of that it kept just getting sore and so forth. And um, we use a particular, a British foot and ankle surgeon here, Chris Pierce, and he uh, stabilizes it. Now, if, the, if you get another episode of this where it doesn't settle down, I'll send it to him. Why? Because in a simple procedure that he would perform, an, brostrum, uh, an arthrobrostrum build reconstruction, um, he will fix it completely and you'll be back to playing sport in three months. So, and they basically reconstruct this, they reconstruct this, you're non-weight bearing, you're on crutches just for two weeks, you're in a boot and you start the rehabilitation in two weeks. And by, I saw the fellow in here today, he's now seven or eight weeks and I'm jumping in. So the recovery's fast, but they fix it. And it's a fairly simple procedure. It's called an, a brostra, an arthrobrostrum reconstruction, particularly useful. And if I have patients who are chronic, sorry, chronic ankle sprainers, it just, it just gets boring after this. you've had one and then you've had a second one now. It just continues to happen. And the surgery for these, different to knee surgery, is highly effective and it's not coming back. And the, the, the surgeon who, the only surgeon I would talk to here is a guy called Dr. Chris Pierce. I'll flick you his details. If I send them to you, you won't need him. <laughs> it's Murphy's Law, yeah. but he's fabulous. And he's he's not only just, he's a British foot ankle surgeon, he's just very, very good at this. And, and he would say the same thing. If I sent you to him now, he would tell you to go back and do a course of physiotherapy for six say, weeks. Not, no, yeah. a course of physiotherapy for <laughs> six weeks. The only reason I'm sending it, you can just start to assist Murphy's yeah. Law. If I send it, you won't need it. If I don't, then you'll need it. Yeah. And it's also um, in our little WhatsApp group, so you can always go back to it in the future. Yeah. And I probably should have done it for you this time because you would have gone and spoken to him this time. He would have told you probably not even do an MRI, just go through the That's same fine. physiotherapy I was, course. It was more my curiosity. It's like, okay. Yeah, um, but, but, it, but again, that's the, the process with this. Um, do you play sport? Yeah, let's check not regularly now. No. So, so, oh, so I'm not gaming to get back into... So particular... six weeks of strengthening, a bit of physiotherapy. Okay. We do a pre-jumping program yep. and then I'll show you how to do a full jumping program and that's yep. a sort of the full rehabilitation and then it should start to settle. Um, and okay. as I said, percentage of these settle. Now, interestingly, just let me show you one little bit here because this is the last little thing that helps you understand what's going on here and that's the ankle... Um, inside of the ankle joint. So sometimes, obviously, you tear the ligaments on the outside, but in fact, on the inside of the ankle. Do you want me to keep filming this? Yeah, keep filming, because I'm going to just show you something on a little video. Because it just also helps you a little bit understand what's going on in the ankle joint. It's not gory or anything, but it's just a very useful, uh, it's a very useful understanding of, yeah, in, inside of the joint. So what we know is that some of the tenderness, let me just show you this, some of the tenderness. This is a short segment. So some of it, so this is inside of an ankle joint, top bone, bottom bone. But what this is showing, this is just really the size of half a chopstick. And it's just basically a little vacuum. This is scar tissue. And it simply doesn't really have much. It's more like seaweed, white seaweed in the joint. And all this guy's doing is just sucking it out. That's the top bone, bottom bone. And this is just scarring. And this is where you do get true scarring inside of the joint. So if you were to have continued discomfort, they reconstruct the ligaments and they literally put a vacuum cleaner in there and suck all of this stuff out. And you can continue to get chronicity with it, a reduction in range of motion, etc., etc. Uh, that's what's going on inside of the joint. It helps you understand why it's a bit sore. That's the inside look in the joint. You don't see that stuff on the MRI. You only see that uh, arthroscopically, but it helps you understand what's happening inside. Thanks.